Hello, this is Alice with The Witch in the Glen. This is my channel. Um, as you come in, feel free to hit the like button so you remember to do it. Um, <laughs> it's it's fine if you don't, but um, only only like it or dislike it if it resonates or you hate it. Because okay, we're gonna clear some energy. We're not gonna burn ourselves, but if we need to, then here we go. All right. Um, today is it is full moon in Sagittarius, which uh, luckily for all of us, I am a Sag rising, so this is just my speed. Um, I um, am, I have a lot of fire in my chart, a lot of Leo, um, and uh, my moon is in Scorpio, which is, means, which is, you know, Scorpio. Um, so, um, the moon's full moon, that always means there's going to be intense energy out there. The moon pulls on our, um, pulls on our energy and, um, pulls on our bodies, just like it pulls the tides. Um, and at a full moon, it is, it is most, um, it is at its most powerful. Um, it is like the high tide of tides and low tide is the new moon so um full moon in sagittarius that means there's going to be a lot of change there's going to be a lot of um kind of tower moments burning out stuff that you know excess energy that isn't working for you um closing out timelines that you are just done with um sometimes you might have to hit an anger point in order to shed some of your layers um, and yeah, <laughs> justice. <laughs> so there you go. And justice always reminds me of the queen of swords in these depictions where she's so prominently holding the sword um, and then holding the scales, which is like she um, will bring swift judgment and it will be completely fair judgment. So that might be where you are. You're kind of sick of some certain players in your life and um, you are issuing not judgment of them, but judgment about their relationship to you as to which energetic cords you are allowing to continue to entangle your energy. So this is a great time to burn up some energetic cords and push out some people who really need to just be in in um, in direct line of uh, cosmic cosmic judgment <laughs> which like I said is very fair and um, always kind and and you know most importantly it is just um, it is just it just is um, just this just is it's exactly what is deserved queen of wands there you go <laughs> um yeah energy talk about energy of fire and transformation here we have the suit of wands which is the fire suit of fire and um this is uh the perfect card to come out to encourage you to know that you don't even have to be the queen of swords you are the um, you are the maker of the magic here. You are going to make your judgments off of your, um, off of your energetic vibes. And that is going to be, um, that is going to be like the swiftest and, uh, most delicate way to bring justice. And look, she is unscathed. She can do, she can make anything happen that she wants because she has the ultimate grace as well. She will not um, act without it being completely in alignment, which is how she's able to alchemize everything into this um, beautiful energy state of being the queen of her whole decks, the queen of wands. Um, she is, uh, there are hints of witchcraft on here. There's a little black cat, which is, um, it, it is a poor, Black cats are not, um, they are mistaken as evil, but, but they are really a portal to 
other dimensions. And um, here we have the Nine of Cups in reverse and we have the three of wands in reverse. So I am seeing this, this is, these are these players in your life that are trying to put you into their life as the final piece to their puzzle. But you are not a puzzle piece. You are an exquisite being and you make the puzzle. And these, this nine of cups energy can just be there. He can dump all those cups that he's been collecting wine or whatever it is, whatever fancy um, expensive drinks that he drinks, they, are, they can just be spilled out because you don't have patience for it and you are not going to be his, you're not going to be his um, chattel. So there. And there's, um, here we have uh, the three of wands in reverse. So, you know, this guy thinks he's not going anywhere and he's going to pressure you into coming into his timelines that he is trying to force, but it's not working. All of his plans for you are completely um, ill-advised and you will harness his, see the wands now, it's like their energy is flowing up to you instead. So he can't even, it's like, give me a break. I, and when somebody is victimizing you, guess what? You get to inherit their consciousness. So you get access to all of these cups that are spilling out over here. That is coming to you. That is why you're in Queen of Wands alchemist energy. And same with these wands here. They are flowing directly up to you because somebody has been trying to do black magic on you to bring the, bring you into under their spell, under their commandment, and it is not happening. You are, you are um, in with the highest judge and she has deemed you a worthy um, a worthy ruler here, a worthy counterpart. The Queen of Wands is so beautifully color coordinated with the Justice card. They just look, um, the, the Wands suit is the artistic suit is, is like, can be flashy. It can be, um, it can be magic. So let's see. What else can you tell us about this message here? So we've got the four of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. So you've been collecting your pentacles mm -hmm. and this, this might be where this person has just been accruing all these yeah. skills and um, skills accruing all this work and trying to transmute it into ways to take advantage of you. And this is not, that's not what you, that is not the uh, forthright way to use one's energy, to build it up towards trying to control somebody else, to build up all your energy and all your wealth in order to control somebody else, primarily a divine feminine, that is often the person who is being abused. The, and I am not talking about feminine, um, narcissists that is a different energy here the traditional the real divine feminine is almost always the abuse on the receiving end of abuse which does not make it actually their fault at all it is um the nature of their vulnerabilities that the feminine ends up receiving the blunt um force of these poor players in their life. So, okay. I think that is going to be our message today. I am really um, fired up for you. I hope you have a brilliant new moon. Um, be ruthless, be queen of swords, be, um, be balanced and really take into account which behaviors on the part of others you are not going to put up with because it doesn't have to be that you're cutting humans and people out of your life so much as you're cutting off these energetic boundaries and there might be and i mean 
there is a, a high likelihood that there are some people in your life that you really just need to cut out and, um, you know, take your spoils and move on. Um, but you need to pay attention to where these kinds of energies are, are um, building up within yourself as well, because it's always about the balance of the polarities of these two um, dualistic, the, the original two dualistic um, polarities of masculine and feminine, a binary one like ones and zeros ones and zeros represent masculine and feminine okay so there you go the world i mean the wheel of fortune there you go all right thanks